As Rahima said, it's been 18 years since the attacks on 9-11, and for two teens born on that day, their family members would have been in places hit by those attacks, except for the fact that they were at the hospital for their births. Lawrence Jackson spoke to them. For the kids turning 18 this year, their lives have been a direct measurement of just how long it's been since the attacks. Talk to me about the first time you realized maybe what your birthday signified. When I was 10 years old, I found out that my grandparents were involved, but I didn't realize how serious it was until that day because my grandfather was supposed to be in the identical room that got hit in the Pentagon. He was a colonel in the military. Sadly, his friend did die, but he was at the hospital, and every birthday I have, he like really thanks me for that day. My uncle actually worked in uh, the World Trade Center, and he didn't go to work that day because I was being born early, and he saw like on the news like where he worked was being destroyed. In a sense, like, I suppose, like, I saved his life. Growing up so closely tied to the 9-11 attacks definitely influenced William's political views. He considers undocumented immigrants a top issue. How much of you being born on 9-11 do you think ties into where you stand on those issues? A lot of it does, because obviously terrorists are one of the biggest things in 9-11. Do you have any views on how anyone really who was a first responder, who worked at a hospital. What do we do politically to show those people support? I think we should give them free health care. I think that's fair, but they have to be an American citizen. That helped on that day. For Anish, politics aren't as big. He focused on his volunteer work instead. It progressed past something that was like, oh, I was born on a tragic day to, this is what I can symbolize and this is what I can use to become something that can help my community grow instead of being left in this state. His parents moved to the U.S. from India just two years before 9-11. They came here for, you know, the opportunities that America provides, that American dream. Whatever you want to do, you can be successful if you're willing to work hard towards it. When 9-11 happened, you know, obviously it was like a big shock for the whole country. Some people bring up the topic of xenophobia. Did your family have any views or, ha or were they affected at all being uh, persons of color? I've spoken to them about it and they didn't personally feel like any direct feeling towards them. I'd say that what that coming together after 9-11 has taught me was that people are good. How excited are you and how do you plan to exercise your right to vote now? I've always been kind of interested in politics, so I just try to do as much research as I can. I haven't thought of anyone in this election as of yet. I plan on going to vote, of course. I do lean more towards conservative. I'm an independent. I don't know if I'll go Republican or Democrat. I do tend to like Donald Trump a little bit more, and I, I would probably vote for him if I could. Obviously, his mouth is the big problem, but I think he's doing what he said he was going to do. You were born on 9-11, your uncle worked at World Trade Center, and you're from New Jersey. How much of it ties directly into your identity? It's kind of affected how connected I feel to like New York. Whenever I go to the city, I just feel like a different type of energy. I feel like this is where I need to go when I start working. As a country, a lot of people say that 9-11 is one of the worst things they've seen, but that it brought people together. Obviously, it brings my family closer together, but it brings political parties closer together. I think it brings everybody closer together in the world, and it's changed everything. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.